Hi, so glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Hey, looks like Red's making up a song. Let's go listen. Timbers! Arrgh. Oh, yeah! Ooh! Hi, Red! Oh, yeah! Uh-huh! Hi, Wyatt! I'm making up a song about me and my puppy. Listen to what I have so far. Oh, yeah! Red's my name and I'm here to say I like to skate and play all day. <laughs> what do you think so far? Oh, I love it! Now I just have to write the last part of my song. Hmm. My puppy loves to fetch and bark, so today I'll take her to the playground. Hmm. Playground doesn't sound like the right word. What about... My puppy loves to fetch and bark, so today I'll take her to the garden. Hmm. Nope. Garden doesn't sound like the right word either. Double drats, I can't figure out how to finish my song. Hmm, this sounds like a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the super readers. We need to call the rest of the super readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling all super readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Club. Wyatt here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you. Say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve Red's problem. Let's go. Okay, Red. State your problem. I'm making up a song, but I can't think of a word that sounds right. Oh, Not dear. Not good. That's tough. How should I finish my song? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In a book. What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please. Let's read the title of this book. The story of Mother Goose. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Red's question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh! In this story, we need five super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers? To the rescue! Alpha Pig! With alphabet power! Wonder Red! With word power! Princess Presto! With spelling power! Super Y! With the power to read! 
three. And Super U with the power to help. Together we are... The Super Eaters! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book. Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers, because we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers to the rescue! Super Readers working together with powers to read. Story of Mother Goose. <gasps> Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight. Read with me. Mother Goose wanted to write a book of stories. <laughs> lots and lots of stories to write. She began to write her first story. I'll write my first story about my friend Mary and her little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to brush his teeth. Uh, hmm. Mother Goose's story did not sound right. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. <gasps> Just like I must find a word that sounds right for my song. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. Mother Goose and Red both need to figure out the right word. To Mother Goose! <gasps> there she is! Hi, Mother Goose. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, I'll be a Lucy Goosey. Hello. Oh, super readers, I could use your help. I'm having some trouble with my story about Mary and her little lamb. I'll try again. Oh! Oh, goodness me. Where are my glasses? They're on your head. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> on my head. <laughs> okay. There we go. <clears throat> Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to... Juggle potatoes! Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah? Oh. oh, goodness, Goose. Potatoes doesn't sound like the right word. Um, let me think here. Um, what word sounds like snow? Stop, look, or go? Um, go! Oh, yes, yes, that sounds right. Go, snow, snow, go. Oh, oh, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Uh, ready, little lamb? Go! <laughs> oh, dearie me. How will I get him to go? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can find the letters in the word go and help the lamb go. A, B, C. Sing with me! A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Amazing alphabet singing. Hmm. Now, where's the letter G? There it is! There's the G. Now we need the letter.
letter O. Where's the O? Hmm. There! There's the O. D O. Go! Lickety letters! We spelled go and got the lamb to go. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, let me try it now. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Oh, my story is glorious. Bye, Mary. Oh, bye, little lamb. Now I'm ready to write another story. And I know just who I want to write about. Follow me. Let's roll. Be sure to look out for super letters. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? H E. H and E. Oh, yeah. Let's put them in our super duper computer. computer. Three more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. Here we are. Oh, Ebenezer. Won't you say hello to my friends? He says hi. All righty. I am ready to write my new story. <clears throat> Here we go. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the elephant. Oh, 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 go on, Ebenezer. Up the elephant. Chop, chop. Oh, dear. The word elephant doesn't sound right, does it? Maybe you need a word that sounds like dock. Hmm. <gasps> Fantastic idea! Oh, uh, but I can't think of a word that sounds like dock. Hmm. Cue the sparkle! Cue the music! Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can find a word that sounds like dock. What word sounds like dock? Table? Chair or clock? <gasps> clock sounds like duck. Let's spell clock and make a clock appear. Wands up. Spell with me. Hmm. What letter makes the sound k k k? C! It can be C or K. But in the word clock, it's a C. <laughs> write a C with me. Let's write uppercase letters. What letter makes the sound L? L! L. Let's write an L. What letter makes the sound ah? O. O. Write an uppercase O. A big circle like this. And finally, what two letters make the sound k k k in clock? C K. Here. C and K together make the sound k, k, k. Let's write a C and a K. C, L, O, C, K, clock. Presto! Clock and made a clock appear. Let's take a
the bell. Clock, dock, dock, clock. Yes, that sounds right. Hickory, dickory, dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Hi, Mother Goose! Hey there! Oh, hello, three men! Oh! <gasps> I can write a story about the three men! Off we go to the three men! You see a super letter? Which letter did you find? Why? Why? Oh, yeah. We need to put it in our super duper computer. computer. Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Super duper super readers. Three minutes. I'm going to write a story about you. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Rub a dub dub, three men in a pancake. A pancake? No, oh, goose pimples. I just can't figure out the right word. Well, it isn't pancake. But that's what my story says. Rub a dub dub, three men in a pancake. Oh, I know it's not the right word, but what can I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the word pancake in this sentence. Zap! Y writer, write. Super readers, let's try a word that sounds like dub. Which word sounds like dub? Tree, tub, or crib? Maybe crib. Which is the word crib? It starts with a C. There! There! Now, let's zap crib into the sentence. Zap! Let's read. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a crib. <laughs> Does crib sound like dub? No. No. Crib, dub. They don't sound the same. What word sounds like dub? Tree, tub, or crib? Let's try tub. Which is the word tub? It has the letter U in it. There! There's the word tub. Zap! Let's read. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. <laughs> Does the word tub sound like dub? Hmm. Tub, dub, dub, tub. Gooses and mooses, the word tub sounds perfect. Yes, super job, super readers. We changed the story and helped Mother Goose find the right word. Tub sounds like dub. <gasps> I just realized something. All of my stories rhyme. Oh, I just figured out what to call my book. Mother Goose's Nursery Rhymes. My rhymes are sublime. That's a fancy word for great. You see super letters? Which ones? R and M. Oh, yeah. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Com 
We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Now it's time to make more rhymes. <laughs> Goodbye, all! Bye! Y-Flyers! Back to the book club! We found the super story answer with Silver Computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. R, H, Y, M, E. Rhyme. The super story answer is rhyme. But why? Because Mother Goose learned that the words that sounded right for her stories were rhymes. So my question is, how should I finish my song? And the answer is... Rhyme! Rhyme! <gasps> rhyme. I can finish my song with a rhyme. Come on, let's get back to my song. Okay, let me sing my song again. Red's my name and I'm here to say I like to skate and play all day. My puppy loves to fetch and bark. Now, I need a rhyme for the word bark. What word rhymes with bark? Hmm, bark sandbox? No, they don't sound alike. Bark backyard? Uh-uh. How about bark? Park? Does park rhyme with bark? Yes! Park rhymes with bark. Park, bark. Bark, park. They sound the same. Hey, everyone, come listen to my song. Oh, yeah. Red's my name, and I'm here to say I like to skate and play all day. My puppy loves to fetch and bark, so today I'll take her to the park. Hip it, hooray! The super reader saved the day! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day. We changed the story. We solved the problem. We went together, so him.